Hello everyone, welcome back for another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection Review. In front of me now I have issue number 103, the uh, Bedean warship seen on Star Trek Voyager. This is the first of the Bedean ships in the collection so far. And uh, so yeah, and as usual I have a magazine, the ship, so I'll put it aside. Looks kind of large in there, but we'll look at that shortly. All right. It is considered a uh, warship in operation in 2370s, 300 meters long, and apparently this thing can go as fast as warp 9.6. Turn the page, have some more specification information and uh, stand mounting information. Uh, it's operated by the Vidian, uh, the Vidian Solidarity. Uh, again, a warship location in the Delta Quadrant. Uh, this thing goes as fast as warp 9.6, has particle beam emitters and torpedo launchers. It doesn't specify which kind. Turn the page, have a neat image of the ship there, which I think is the same thing as this one, just superimposed with the background there, as well as some text from the episodes it's appeared in. And more screen caps and text. And the uh, diagram page showing you where the components are. And here's a section on the uh, design process of the ship, which looks like a physical model there, which is always nice to see. And here's a section on the uh, makeup of Star Trek. Uh, I guess magazine filler, and I guess uh, in this particular article it talks more about the Vidians, of course, considering that this is the Vidian ship and magazine. And of course, you see Cardassians and Borg and Klingon, etc., etc., etc. Got the Zindi, the Herogen, the Jem'Hadar, and so on. And finally, the on screen appearance page. The first time that we've ever seen it. Uh, was in the episode Resolutions, and I believe the next time we saw it was in the episode Coda. Um, oddly enough, unfortunately, the Vidians didn't really make too many more appearances after maybe the the third season. They just kind of disappeared. Um, they made they were referenced a, a few times, and uh, but I don't think they were ever seen again, especially in the later seasons. Um, after Seven of Nine joined the crew. So yeah, and of course, hopefully, I'll be getting this one soon, the USS Janolin, seen in Relics. So that looks like an interesting model to take a look at. And of course, on the back, you have the ship there, always a top view. And so yeah, rounds up the magazine. Pretty informative this time. And now on to the model itself. And here it is in the box. Uh, you can tell just by looking at it that it is pretty darn huge compared to many other models. So let's get it out. Put the model down, get the stand out, and the base of the stand. First impression of the model is it's all right, not too bad. Uh, it's got some slight weight. The majority of the ship is metal. Um, these are metal, or no, or are they plastic? It's kind of hard to tell. Um, the center section, the main body of the ship, is definitely metal. Um, got a pretty nice paint job. Pretty accurate, I would I would say, almost. Um, not a whole lot of windows, but they're actually on there. Oh wait, no they're not, they're misaligned. So another fail on that, I guess they're too small. Um, there are no clear blue, clear red, green, orange, whatever uh, parts for the engines or the warp engines or impulse engines. Um, but they are highlighted this time by a nice yellow, which is seen here, and of course uh, seen here as well. Um, 
and you can see the Vidian, the Vidian uh, symbols there on both sides of the uh, ship there and also down on the bottom. Uh, it's a fairly nice model. Um, again, this is the first Vidian ship in the uh, Starship's collection thus far. Uh, obviously not 103, it took that long to get a single Vidian ship. Um, hopefully the Kazon will follow pretty, pretty soon. Um, so yeah, uh, it's nice to actually have a Vidian ship now. Um, if you're a fan of Star Trek Voyager, I would pick this up. If you love the Vidians, by all means, pick this up. If you can't stand Voyager or wants or want no part, no part of it at all, don't bother. If you hate the Vidians, definitely don't bother. Um, if you just want Starfleet ships and Klingons and the, the well-known races, then I would definitely cherry pick and skip over this one. Um, this ship is definitely for completist, uh, for fans of Star Trek Voyager, and if you just happen to like the ship or uh, the Vidians themselves, which I always liked. Um, so yeah, it's a very nice model, very, very nice model. I, I don't really have any major issues with it other than the windows being misaligned. Um, unfortunately, the camera can't zoom in, so you can't see it. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty nice model, it's pretty big. Um, the one thing I will say about all these various models in the collection, um, because they vary in shape and size, it almost makes it difficult to store them, to display them really, because some are thin, some are long, some are wide, some are, uh, you know, some are thicker than others, and they take up, some take up more space than others. So um, it can be a bit of a challenge, uh, but I'm very, very happy with it and uh, grateful at long last to have a Vidian ship. And of course it comes with a stand, which on the bottom just simply says Vidian Vessel. And uh, I put the plastic uh, stand in the base here. And of course the ship mounts in place just like that. Pretty sturdy, doesn't rock around a whole lot, move, doesn't move too much, and it's a nice firm grip. So yeah. That is the Vidian warship scene on Star Trek Voyager. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please drop them down in the uh, comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Be safe in this ever uh, dangerous world we now live in. And uh, live long and prosper. <laughs>